So you probably don't realize this, but after using a computer for about 14 years, you start to feel like a football player or a basketball player that has had injuries or joints start to hurt. And then before you know it, you've got to wear stuff like a wrist brace or back brace. There's a lot of different things that can happen when sitting at a computer for eight hours a day. So that's why I started looking for a vertical mouse. So I've been using the JTEC Digital Vertical Mouse for about eight months now to help try to relieve some of the wrist pain. Even though this is the wired version, they do make a wireless version and I'll leave a link in the description below if you're interested. So I thought now would be a good time to compare this vertical mouse to the Anchor Vertical Mouse. Let's do a quick overview of the JTEC Digital Vertical Mouse. Now it does come with this little base adapter but I actually don't use that at all. So I just wanted to show you, it does come with that attachment if you wanna have a rest for your wrist. So one of the most convenient things I like about the JTEC Digital, you've got your page up or page down or next and back buttons right next to your thumb. All you have to do is barely move your thumb to hit those buttons. And then of course on the other side, you've got your left and right buttons and you get your scroll wheel that also works as a button. Then you get your optical sensor on the bottom and it also has a switch for the light to turn on and off, which sort of makes it look like a gaming mouse. It's not really intended for that, it's just mainly for looks. So overall, this JTAG vertical mouse has been pretty comfortable. I will admit though, if you've never used a vertical mouse, I hated it the first three days because I've never used one before. You get so used to the traditional type of mouse that it's definitely an adjustment. I would definitely give it a full three days of use before you decide whether you want to use a vertical mouse or not. But you know, after using it for a long time, it feels like just any other mouse. And even though my wrist pain is pretty minimal these days, I thought I would go back to a traditional mouse just to see if it's making any difference. So this is the Microsoft mouse that came with my new computer at work. And I thought, hey, I'll just use this for a few days and see if it really makes a difference from a vertical mouse to a traditional one. And yeah, it's like nine day. My wrist starts to hurt within a half hour. So I really can't use a traditional mouse anymore now that I'm so used to a vertical mouse. So really the only thing I would like to see improved on the JTEC Digital is there's something with the scroll wheel. So it makes it that you have to push down ever so slightly before you start to feel the little notches and then it'll work just fine, which I have to admit takes a little getting used to. So now let's take a quick look at the Anchor Vertical Mouse and see what we've got. And this is the 2.4 gigahertz wireless model. They also offer a wired version. It also includes an optical tracking scroll wheel and added next and last page buttons to help boost your productivity. And this is compatible with Mac OS, Linux, Windows XP, Vista 7, 8. And even though it doesn't say, this is also compatible with Windows 10. And the main reason for a vertical mouse is just to release tension on the wrist. You can see here on the side, they give you a couple illustrations, how it encourages constant alignment for healthy long-term use. Where a traditional mouse strains wrist and arm over time, creating pain. So let's go ahead and open it up and see what we've got. And I'll leave a link in the description below with current pricing and more information. So really the only thing that comes with it is the nano USB receiver, instruction manual, and just a little card that has social media information, and if you're not happy, customer service information. So here's the vertical mouse itself, and it's extremely lightweight. You can see on the bottom is the on and off switch, your optical sensor, and of course, where you put two AAA batteries in to power it up. And on the back, it just has an Anchor logo. And the nice thing about this vertical mouse is it has a sort of a soft touch material, 
which seems pretty nice, really. Where your thumb goes, you've got your next and previous page buttons. And you've got your left and right buttons on the other side. And with the scroll wheel, that also works as a button. And on top, you've got the DPI button, which is gonna control how responsive the mouse is, which has 800, 1200, and 1600 DPI. And once you put the batteries in and power it up, you've got an LED bar right on the side. So now I'm gonna put the batteries in and try it out this week and see how it goes. Okay, so now that I've used the Anchor mouse this week, it definitely feels different than the JTAG. And while initially I thought I would like this one better than the JTAG, there's a couple things that felt a little awkward to me. One thing that I noticed right away, if you'll notice, this is actually a little bit closer to a traditional mouse than the JTAG. I noticed my wrist is turned in a little more on the Anchor versus the JTAG seems a little bit more vertical. And to me, the JTAG actually feels a little more comfortable. Another thing you'll notice is, see how my hand kind of wraps around the JTAG? So you're using more of your fingers versus just the fingertips. And on the anchor, it's just a little bit longer. So my fingers actually rest all the way on the mouse. So for me, the JTAG actually feels easier to hit the left and right buttons because I can use my whole fingers, not just the fingertips. I think the main advantage of the JTAG over the anchor is the previous and next buttons. It's almost impossible to reach up and hit the previous button or the next button. Because they're both positioned above the thumb, it feels like you almost have to lift your thumb off the mouse and sort of look and reach and try to figure out where they're located. Where with the JTAG, you just rotate your thumb down or up. To me, the buttons on the JTAG just makes more sense and seem more convenient. The best feature of the Anchor Vertical Mouse is by far the scroll wheel. You just barely touch it and you can feel every little notch. And it just feels really convenient, easy to use, and very accurate. Where on the JTAG, if you just try to scroll real lightly, you don't feel any of the notches. And for me, you have to apply too much pressure to get the scroll wheel to work. So I think it's pretty obvious for me that the better vertical mouse is the JTAG Digital. I just wish I could have the scroll wheel off the Anchor vertical mouse and put it on the JTAG. Don't forget to subscribe and give a thumbs up if you haven't already. This is Brian from Fishbee Productions. Thanks for watching and I'll see you on the next one.